Welcome to Daily Dose Radio, a five-minute devotional podcast studying the Psalms verse by verse, broadcast from the ever-beautiful Sharonville, Ohio, on the sunny side of Cincinnati. Hey, welcome to Daily Dose Radio. I just want to say happy Labor Day to everybody. It's a great day to study the Bible. If you're joining me today and it's Labor Day, thanks so much for joining me on this holiday. And so glad to have all of my listeners all around the world on this Monday listening to Daily Dose Radio. But those in America will be celebrating what we call Labor Day. Thank you for the for the time to listen on this long holiday weekend. So today we're looking at, and all this week, Psalm 131. Psalm 131 is the 12th step in the Songs of Ascent. So this one, by the way, is... It has a superscript. It says it's a song for those ascending of David. So it gives David as the author of this particular psalm, and which has led some commentators, both Jewish and Christian, to suggest that this psalm was written during the time when David brought in the ark. And you'll recall that in Second Samuel, Second Samuel chapter six, actually, he's coming in before the ark and he's dancing and so forth. And Queen Michael doesn't like it, derides him for it, and he says, you know, that I will be even more base, more vile in my own sight. So he has on the robe of the choristers, and he's not as the king, he's just as a worshiper. So some have said that this psalm was written after that incident, and some have said that it's written after the incident when David in 2 Samuel orders Joab to count the people, to number the people. And, And of course, we know the pestilence comes, and it's after the pestilence is remitted by the Lord because of David's sacrifice. Then David writes this psalm, and it's a psalm of great penitence, and it's a wonderful psalm of humility. I would like to read to you today uh, just what um, Weiser has to say about it. This is lovely, and I, I think it's worthy of our listening to to Brother Weiser today. He says, This psalm of trust in God, which unfortunately is too little known, is a wonderfully tender and intimate little song. It is the outpouring of a mature faith and deserves to be classed with the most beautiful psalms of the Psalter. The delicate tones of humble trust sound like a peaceful chime of bells at eventide in a quiet valley, which the last rays of the setting sun fill with their soft light. This prayer, unassuming yet full of moving childlike warmth, rises to God from the soul of a man who after the lofty aspirations of youth and its emotions, and after the hard battles he has fought during the stormy days of his past life, has now found peace in communion with God. Isn't that lovely? And this week, I'm going to take this apart, because it's only three verses in our English Bible, I'm going to take it apart by phrases. So there are ten phrases here in this psalm. I'm going to divide verse one and half and do... The two phrases today, two phrases tomorrow, and then divide verse two and a half. And I'm going to do two phrases on Wednesday and two on Thursday, and then verse three on Friday. So let me read today's section. O Lord, my heart is not exalted, nor my eyes lifted up. You see how he begins this, it's a beautiful prayer, and as we're approaching the Temple Mount now, we've you know, we're we're coming to the end of our long journey, caravanning our way to Jerusalem, and now perhaps we can even see the steps that lead up to the temple. And he says, O oh Lord, my heart is not exalted. So he's preparing himself for communion with the Lord, nor my eyes lifted up. You know the number one thing that the Lord hates? The book of Proverbs tells us Proverbs tells us that six things doth the Lord hate, yea, seven are an abomination unto him, and the very first thing is a proud heart. So, ladies and gentlemen, the psalmist now comes in and he says, I, my heart's not exalted, my eyes aren't lifted up. And that's a great prayer for us to take up too. Let's let's pray that prayer with him. O oh Lord, my heart is not exalted, nor my eyes lifted up. Let's not think of ourselves as something, but let's think of him as everything. He is the Lord. Join me tomorrow on Daily Dose Radio. Thanks for listening to Daily Dose Radio. I'm David Smith. The music today has been performed by the Bluegrass Experiment. Thanks again for listening. I'll see you next time on Daily Dose Radio.